I'm Dr. Michael Tebby. And part of this month's theme of February, Valentine's Day heart, is uh, keeping your rib cage more open. So a lot of patients are really surprised when I use like the massage gun or just kind of feel into their rib cage, like how tight it is. They have no idea. And you all might be the same. But think about what a lot of us are doing during the day. And this could be you're sitting a lot. Look what happens as I kind of get into this posture, which gets really common. You know, look around, that's how people are, especially when you're sitting. All of these ribs, instead of being open, start to close like this. So our tissue just stays like this. And then that's how we move around in life. So then part of what happens is our shoulder can't move as well. I suppose if I'm like open, and my shoulder can move better. Can't look up as well. You can't breathe as well. And you know, part of keeping our heart healthy, of course, diet, exercise, things like that. But think about, you know, your heart's sitting inside of here. And we know from doing studies that elderly folks who are really like, I'm talking really like this, that it, it damages their organs, it damages their lungs, it damages their heart. So we wanna keep this rib cage flexible, able to open. Um, it just helps I mean, on an emotional level too. The softer, the more open our rib cage is, you just feel better mentally, psychologically. So let's look at some ways. So one thing you can do is just start being aware of like, if you're working out, if you're moving, if you're stressed, like feel in your rib cage, like what am I doing with it? Um, you know, it's just something I've been paying attention to more and more over the past couple months. I wanted to share it with you. And then there's also this great kind of opening thing, which will help start to open your rib cage and stuff. So you're gonna bring your elbows a little above your shoulder. They're not in the same line, they're above it. Okay, and then you'll look over your shoulder, especially with your eyes. Again, just pay attention right now as you're looking. What are you doing with your shoulders? Are you starting to shrug your shoulders up towards your ears? Are you tensing them? So go to where it's comfortable, bend the knee, and then reach. Now I'm pretty stiff doing this too myself. Ideally, you wanna be able to touch the ground. You know, I could force it and kind of make myself get there, but you know, just hang out here. So you can hold that stretch. So I recommend doing some just holding it. Look over the shoulder. My relaxed rela attention. Wiggle your neck. Wiggle your shoulders. Breathe into the ribs. Just try to feel into those. And then you have the ground against those ribs that are on the bottom side. You're going to feel. You'll feel like a nice opening through these ribs in here. So if you want to just kind of just move through it and not forcing it, nice and easy, looking, breathing. Or you can just do a nice hold. If the ground is hard, Put some soft stuff around you. So that's one of the things that I recommend to start doing to help you to start to get more flexibility and space in your rib cage. It'll feel good, uh, and yeah, it just feels good. All right, I hope you enjoy this. Try it out. Let me know. You can leave a comment in the video or respond to the email if you got the email. Awesome.